Greeting everyone and welcome to this educational channel. Our topic today will be about the biological oxygen demand, the BOD. And it is the measure of the amount of oxygen that is consumed by bacteria to oxidize an organic matter. And the unit for this one is milligram of oxygen per liter. There is a lot of simple method that we are using for BOD, but most of them, they got the same principle. I'm speaking about the BOD bottles method where you are going to select a specific amount of volume, put it in a dark bottle, and put it in the incubator for 5 days at 20 degrees. Now I have selected a few BOD analyzer to share in here, starting with the Lovey Point 1. It contains 6 channels and a display screen. The second one from a hack company, also it get around 6 channels and a display screen as well. The third one is from Oxytop company. It's have around 12 channels and the BOD reading will be in the cover itself. This is what make it a special one. This is a cover from a Lovey Point company where you can see this is the sensor uh, location and this is where you can put your uh, bottle. This is a BOD dark bottle and why it's dark because we want to avoid any extra oxygen that uh, produced from photosynthesis. Now this is a potassium hydroxide. We put it in the rubber seal to extract the carbon dioxide from our water sample. This is nitrification inhibitor and the word inhibitors mean uh, to stop and what I want to stop is the nitrification uh, process where uh, the ammonia is oxidized to nitrate and nitrate otherwise the oxygen will be consumed by this process instead of being consumed by the bacteria this is a BOD table you find it in your instruction manual you can um, select the right volume that you want for your BOD measurement also take in consideration there might be a factor that can be used for the calculation of the final BOD uh, after all. Now when you start your BOD analysis your first thing you need to do is put a magnetic stirrer because this is a very important thing and you might forget later on. Then select the right volume of your water sample and refer to this to your instrument manual. The next things to do is to add nitrification inhibitor. You can refer to your instrument manual as well. Next, add a KOH or potassium hydroxide on your rubber seal and do this step while your rubber seal is outside the bottle uh, to avoid having this uh, potassium hydroxide inside the bottle and you will have a wrong result. Now close the lid tightly and incubate your sample for five days at 20 degrees. Now for your information the sensor which is in the cover will detect the difference in pressure and then it will calculate it as milligram of oxygen per liter. I'm leaving this procedures for you guys use it as a guideline when you do your BOD measurement. Now we reach to an end if you want to see more videos like this one don't forget to subscribe to this channel see you in the next one.